endothermic reactions, exothermic reactions, examples of endothermic reactions and exothermic reactions, and is it trick to determine endothermic reaction and exothermic reaction? Firstly, let me teach you that what is exothermic reactions and what is endothermic reactions. Well, the word exo means external and the thermic means heat. So the word exothermic means external heat or releasing heat to the surrounding. For example, consider a burning candle. We know that heat is released to the surrounding. So this is exothermic process in which heat is released to the surrounding. Therefore, we say that exothermic reaction releases heat energy to the surrounding. Secondly, the word endo means internal and the thermic means heat. So, endothermic means internal heat are absorbing heat from the surrounding. For example, consider melting ice. We know that the melting ice will absorb heat energy from the surrounding in order to change its physical state. Energy is absorbed from the surrounding, so we say that this is endothermic process. Therefore, we say that endothermic reaction absorb heat energy from the surrounding. Thus, remember that exothermic reaction is releasing heat energy to the surrounding and endothermic reaction is absorbing heat energy from the surrounding. Now, let me teach you that how can you determine if a reaction is exothermic or endothermic. Well, personally, I always teach two AC phenomena like bond making and bond breaking. For example, consider two isolated hydrogen atoms. We know that this hydrogen atom has more energy and this hydrogen atom has also more energy. So, they are in isolated state, they have more energy. Now, in order to reduce their energy, these two atoms of hydrogen would combine together to form hydrogen molecule. So, hydrogen molecule has lesser energy than individual hydrogen atoms. Thus, we say that bond is formed between two hydrogen atoms. Here, let me ask you, where does the extra heat energy go? Well, the answer is simple. The extra heat energy goes to the surrounding. For example, these two hydrogen atoms lose 2 joule heat energy to the surrounding. So, in this whole process, bond is formed between two hydrogen atoms and energy is also lost to the surrounding. So, we say that it is exothermic chemical reaction. Therefore, remember that whenever bond is making, it will always be exothermic reaction. Secondly, consider hydrogen molecule. We know that hydrogen molecule has lesser energy because it is the combined form of two atoms. Now, let's consider that I split this hydrogen molecule into two hydrogen atoms. We know that this isolated hydrogen atom has more energy and this isolated hydrogen has also more energy. Here, the bond is broken between two atoms. Now, let me ask you, where does the extra energy comes from? Well, the answer is simple. The extra energy comes from the surrounding. For instance, hydrogen molecule will absorb 2 joule energy and then bond will break, we will get 2 hydrogen atoms. Here, the energy is absorbed from the surrounding, so it is endothermic chemical reaction. Just remember that, Whenever bond is breaking, it will always be endothermic chemical reaction. Now, let me teach you some common exothermic reactions and endothermic reactions. For example, combustion of fuels or burning of organic compounds is exothermic chemical reaction. The second one is respiration. The third one is neutralization of acid and base. The fourth one is corrosion of metals like rusting of iron. Some physical process of exothermic reactions are condensation, like cloud formation. The second one is freezing, for instance, water to ice. The third one is dissolving in hydrate salt and water. Now, coming to the endothermic reactions. The first one is photosynthesis. 
द सेकेंड वन इज मिक्सिंग वॉटर विद पोटेशियम क्लोराइड द थर्ड वन इज मिक्सिंग वॉटर एंड अमोनियम नाइट्रेट ऑल्सो सम फिजिकल प्रोसेस ऑफ एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शंस आर मेल्टिंग लाइक आइस एंड टू वॉटर द सेकेंड वन इज एवेपोरेशन द थर्ड वन इज कुकिंग एंड द फोर्थ वन इज स्प्लिटिंग गैस दस नोटेड डाउन ऑल दीज एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शंस एंड एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शंस ऑल्सो यू मस्ट लर्न इनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम ऑफ एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एंड एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन For example I take energy along y axis and time along x axis in exothermic reaction reactants have high energy while products have lower energy remember that enthalpy change del h is always negative for exothermic reaction in case of endothermic reaction again i take energy along y axis and time along x axis in endothermic reaction reactants have lower energy and products have higher energy remember that the enthalpy change del h is always positive for endothermic reaction so note it down the energy level diagram of exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction lastly let me teach you some exam questions consider this chemical reaction Can you guess that it is either exothermic reaction or endothermic reaction? Well, we can see that it is a respiration process. We know that in respiration energy is released to the surrounding. So it is exothermic chemical reaction. Secondly, consider this chemical reaction. Can you guess that it is either exothermic reaction or endothermic reaction? Well, it is a combustion reaction. I mean the burning of ethane. We know that in combustion reaction, heat energy is given to the surrounding, so it is exothermic reaction. Thirdly, consider this chemical reaction. Can you guess that it is either exothermic reaction or endothermic reaction? Well, it is a decomposition of carbonates. I mean, calcium carbonate is decomposed into calcium oxide. plus carbon dioxide gas we know that in decomposition we always provide heat energy so heat energy is absorbed from the surrounding so this is endothermic chemical reaction fourthly consider this chemical reaction you can easily guess this chemical reaction as a photosynthesis we know that in photosynthesis sunlight is absorbed to form glucose so heat energy is absorbed from the surrounding it is endothermic reaction fifthly consider this chemical reaction we know that here methane gas is split into carbon plus hydrogen also we have learned that splitting a gas molecule is endothermic chemical reaction sixthly consider this chemical reaction remember that silver bromide is a light sensitive When silver bromide absorbs sunlight it is decomposed to silver plus bromine gas so it is a decomposition reaction where silver bromide is absorbing heat energy from the surrounding so it is endothermic reaction thus note down all these important chemical reaction finally let me teach you the trick to find endothermic and exothermic reactions easily the trick is n is equal to number of moles of product minus number of moles of reactants remember that if n is greater than 0 it will be endothermic reaction if n is smaller or equal to 0 it will be exothermic chemical reaction for example consider this chemical reaction here the number of moles of product is 2 while the number of moles of reactant is 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 So two minus four is equal to minus two. N is less than zero. So this is exothermic reaction. Secondly, consider this chemical reaction. The number of moles of product is two, while the number of moles of reactant is two plus one is equal to three. Now two minus three is equal to minus one. N is less than zero. So it is also exothermic reaction. Thirdly, consider this chemical reaction. Here, the number of product is two, 
while the number of reactant is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Now 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 and is smaller than 0, so it is exothermic reaction. Fourthly, consider this chemical reaction. The number of moles of product is 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 and the number of moles of product is 1. Now 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Here, N is greater than 0, so it is endothermic reaction. Remember that this trick has some exceptional cases where it is not working. Thus be careful while using this trick too often. I hope that you have learned all about the endothermic reactions and exothermic reactions.